The choice in color is paramount if you want to design an effective dashboard or report. Let's get into some tips today, some best practices, and I'll show you how you can potentially choose some colors that will work effectively for you. I'm Jeff, and this is Off the Charts with Jeff. Let's face it, if you're a developer like me, we don't have a great reputation for good use of color and design. I'm sure you've seen things like this. So why is a well-styled dashboard important? Isn't the number the most important part that you're seeing? Well, yes, the number is the most important part. But it's been well observed and documented that appealing content is more believable. The reason for this is because of a term called priming. Priming is where you have a stimulus and a subsequent stimulus is affected by the first, even if they're unrelated. I'll give you a simple example. If you go to a restaurant and the front of the restaurant looks run down and is ugly, that doesn't change the food. But if you actually look at the statistics, it does. People have a different perception of how that food is. Same idea, if the waiter isn't polite, that doesn't change the food. But again, it does. On a dashboard, if you have a half-baked, poor design dashboard, that can beg the question, is the data half-baked? Are your formulas not correct? The better looking that dashboard is, the faster someone's gonna believe what you're showing them on there to be correct. So the reality is, if you want the best design dashboard, you should go get a graphic artist. Seriously, it's the best advice I can give you. But since you're still here, let's give you some tips to get you going in lieu of a graphic artist. So don't expect this to be Jeff teaching 101 how to use colors effectively. I'm gonna introduce a best practice and I'm gonna show you how you can use that best practice to bring in some simple color to make a dashboard look good. This is one approach that you could take, but it's certainly an effective one. Take a look at these numbers. Do a really quick count. How many fours are in here? Go ahead, I'll wait. Now, what if I were to do something like this? Does adding color to this help? For sure it does. Taking this one step further, how about this visualization? How many of these are going down? Now, most people who get into very basic dashboard design at least get to this point. They'll go ahead and they'll add simple coloring to the dashboard, giving me the reds and green arrows like I'm showing you here. But what's most effective is actually just giving the answer that people want. Notice how I remove all the green and I'm simply focused on red. This is kind of the key here. One color is what I'm interested in. Everything else can be muted. Figure out what is interesting to your users, draw attention to that, and get rid of everything else. That gives you less variables to worry about when it comes to the design. Same deal here on a chart. How many people are receiving a score less than 95? That's not an easy question to answer. But if you know what they want, you can structure your visualization so that you're showing them exactly what they need to see. You can see here. Again, I'm using that red as my primary color and everything else is getting muted. This gives people the answer they want and it helps them with the overall readability of the dashboard by simply answering the questions that they care about. Here's a free site that I stumbled upon. There's a lot of them out there that will help you with color choice, but one of the best things you can do is go with a hue. Just like I use that red in order to focus the color in that bar chart, you can choose a hue and then use different lightning shades of that hue in order to as your baseline for the whole dashboard. So instead of that red, maybe you go with this green effect. Generally, you want to avoid the reds and greens because those do have inherent meanings of good and bad. If you're trying to focus on the bad, red is a great color and a bunch of hues of red can work, but do keep in mind that there is cultural significance to the colors. For example, in many parts of Asia, red is considered a lucky color. Here's an example dashboard where I took that concept of those simple hues. In this case, the purple. The purple is highlighting problem areas on the dashboard. Everything else is just a lighter hint of that. Also works very well for colorblind people because different intensities are typically not the problem when you get into colorblindness. People can differentiate those. So by picking a simple color and changing the intensity, you can actually still help with a colorblindness issue keep it simple, and still have a good looking dashboard. The other added benefit is I can essentially close my eyes to everything on the screen and only look at color. 
those colors draw out the problem areas. And it's actually very effective from a design perspective because it helps the user. Now, arguably, a graphic artist could come in and make this thing look spectacular, but that's not where we're at right now. My goal today is just to give you a simple technique, which I've done. So that's it. It's a simple design choice, but it's something that us developers can pick up very easily, effective for your users, and will look a lot better than using the default colors. I hope you like what you've seen. And if you do want to take a look or get some inspiration for different styles of dashboard design, take a look at the Dundas BI gallery. We're always happy to have you lift some of the ideas that we've taken and implement these into your own designs. We'll see you next time.